Hello Floss Tube, my name is Jani and this is a new episode of Floss Tube. <laughs> this is a channel where we talk about cross stitch. Yeah! <laughs> um, I uh, haven't, uh, you know, announced the number of my uh, video for a few of them, but this is episode number 61 yeah <laughs> yeah 61 uh, videos in my english <laughs> thank you uh, again for for watching if you are a new subscriber welcome and if you are uh, already a subscriber welcome again and a big hug to you uh, I hope you enjoy uh, this little episode. I hope it's going to be a short one. Um, I want to show you from my um, last video that I was talking about the retreat and everything. Um, some of the of the gifts that I receive, some of, of the presents, and I was really overwhelmed with all um, the kindness. That kindness kindness of the stitchers and the ladies and everyone was so so nice with me and they brought me some some gifts so I already thanked them you know in person <laughs> and hugged them um, it was so exciting in the in the retreat and I you know was so overwhelmed with all the the, the ladies and you know hug everyone <laughs> Yeah, what's, what was great. <laughs> so I want to show you some of the of the presents. Um, this is a, a beautiful um, stitching piece, and the colors are so pretty. And this is from a, a beautiful lady in Monterrey. So she she gave me this this beautiful piece, and and was in display in the you know, in the proud table, so I really, really love it, and she asked me, this is for you, <laughs> and I was so touched, yeah, but I love this, so this is fantastic, and then, um, this is another piece that I received, um, this is a, a gift from a lady from Mexico City, uh, Christy, and she's so um first of all so funny <laughs> so it was a joy to to be sitting with her because she's like a you know a, <laughs> a wonderful lady so she she gave this to me and i was so so exciting i love the colors and i love the the framing and she put, uh, she has these little um, metal plaques with her name, so she not just signed uh, her, her job, but put uh, a plaque with her name. So this is wonderful. Thank you again, Christy. And she's a lovely lady. You all have to, to meet her. And I received from also from a, a beautiful lady in, in from Monterrey. Um, this beautiful uh, this is a, a a stitching calendar. Well, this part is stitching, and she write uh, well. She stitched her name and put this little uh, tax. Really, really pretty. I need to iron this and you know display it. Uh, in a proper way so yeah I really love this and all the the stitching is so so neat and perfect <laughs> so thank you and and she also uh, gave me this beautiful uh, big biscornu uh, and it's uh, with pearly uh, flaws and, and beading and all of this uh, beautiful uh, uh, specialty stitches and it's wonderful so thank you again Sylvia was a, a, she asked me uh, do you like this and I said yeah but I didn't want to say yes because I knew she was going to give it to me but <laughs> see yes I love it so 
she gave me the, those. Um, I received also this um, little like uh, notion purse from Margarita, and it's a you know very um, traditional uh, artisanal uh, uh, piece from 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 Mexico. So she gave me this, and also another uh, pillow, really really pretty with the um, metal um, thread in the fabric, you know, really, really gorgeous. And this was from Rocio, also from Monterrey. The ladies from Monterrey, you know, <laughs> were uh, fantastic to be with, and they were all with her, with their um, teacher, Miss uh, Alma. So they gathered together in, in Monterrey and they are a bunch of, of wonderful ladies. So they all came to the to the retreat and it was a joy to have them. Uh, so Rocio sent, uh, gave me this and it's wonderful, very Halloween-y and the fabric is so, <laughs> so much fun and beautiful, you know, purple and green. I, I love it. And we receive a lot of, of uh, little uh, notebooks and you know to they are always uh, useful and candies and chocolates um, this was from Marie Cruz uh, also from Monterrey they have a, a a very traditional candy there it's like a caramel candy and I love candies so <laughs> she gave me this and I was waiting to show you but I'm going to eat it now and it has the little um, Santa in the lid. So thank you, Marie Cruz. I love it. And uh, from from a, a lady in Querétaro, Jaira. Hello. <laughs> she gave me this uh, beautiful um, piece of jewelry, <laughs> and I wear it. But I put it here so I can show you. <laughs> And also this beautiful uh, little fox stitched piece. It's beautiful. It's like a keychain, or you can put it in your uh, scissor. So I really, really love it. It's so cute. And because she knows me so well, <laughs> she also uh, gave me, uh, you know, uh, eyeshadows. So I, yeah, <laughs> I love it. Uh, so I will use it also. I was just waiting to, to show you in a video so I can now use it, <laughs> everything. Um, and this was from uh, Wendy from Puebla. Uh, she bring us some uh, like um, little uh, purses so we, we can ha um, give some of this away between the, the attendees. So the fabric is really, really pretty with the um, scissors and everything, like vintage. And she also gave us these uh, uh, pillows. She does a lot of uh, quilting and, you know, embroidery. So it's really, really pretty. I love it. I wish I could be a better, you know, uh, with my sewing because I'm terrible at that <laughs> and also Wendy uh, gave me this uh, really pretty card with these um, wooden buttons so I love it and again the, the green so pretty <laughs> I also received from uh, Alicia from Costa Rica she uh, bring with with her um, a bunch of chocolates for all the attendees so we all receive uh, one of these uh, cute little uh, bags with a, a chocolate so I have a few left and I already eat them <laughs> but I wanted to keep this one to show you and it's so pretty and the chocolate it's delicious <laughs> it's a traditional chocolate from Costa Rica and she also uh, bring me more chocolate. <laughs> this is for drinking chocolate and um, really like gourmet uh, chocolate. So 
I love it. <laughs> and she also uh, bring me this um, kit. I, I stitched this one for my grandmother many years ago and I always thought in stitch it again for my mother because um, she really liked it and now I can stitch it again and it came with the flosses and the fabric so it was a, a great uh, gift so I, I will stitch it for my mom and yeah a lot of, of uh, chocolates and you know cards and I received um, this last week not in the retreat a gift from one of the attendees and her name is Soledad hello soul and she she went to the retreat with her daughter Chloe hello Chloe <laughs> and they um, her daughters make a wonderful thing because they pay for the retreat as a surprise for Soledad so she didn't knew that she was going to the retreat and they only told her you know like two weeks before the event or a week and a half something like that so she was really exciting and she is an amazing amazing teacher uh, she had all these uh, gray wooden tools and you know hoops and frames and she's fantastic and she finished uh, you know a lot of, of really wonderful stitching pieces so it was a, a, a delight and an honor uh, what a great surprise for her to to go to the retreat and even more for us because we have the the opportunity of know her and one of the gifts she brings in the in, for the for the retreat was this uh were the, this little um wooden uh bobbins and i don't know i'm not sure if her husband uh, make this or or one of the um wooden workers that she know uh you know carpenters carpenters <laughs> make this for her but Everybody in the retreat was <laughs> wanted so bad these these beautiful uh, pieces because they look so um, you know cute and and fantastic with the with the floss. So she sent me a full box of of these beautiful pieces and I love this. I will. Um, start a new project and I want to put all my flosses here because they look so great so yeah I'm so happy <laughs> I'm really lucky lady so yeah that was my my gifts uh, most of them I you know I was hugging everyone and thank you everyone I'm so happy so yeah um, also this week I received Another gift from uh, a fellow Floss Tuber, our wonderful Lily from uh, 42 Stitches. So, hello, my dear. Uh, she sent me this beautiful card and I received it uh, just this week. Uh, I'm, I guess this is one of uh, Mill Hill's uh, kits. So, isn't this? just adorable <laughs> I have uh, you know watch her videos and her Instagram um, stitching uh, some of these pieces and I love them and they're so cute and so fun and you know so traditional of our celebration so thank you very much Lily I love it and thank you for for sending me uh, this and you know, with, with all this give and all this love, um, it's always so so amazing to receive something um, stitching from from uh, uh, another friend because part of their time and their love and you know <laughs> we can have it with us. So thank you to all of you 
for these wonderful um, gifts. And well, I I wish I could tell I, I stitch a lot this week, but not <laughs> not enough time. And you know, I was not in, really in the mood for stitching. I I have a lot of wonderful projects and weaves and you know new starts that I can start <laughs> but I was not really there yet <laughs> and talking about I have something oh, oh, sorry <laughs> talking about um, projects and charts and everything I got a lot of, of material for the retreat uh, patterns and hoops and fabrics and most of those uh you know uh I, I i sold them in the in the retreat but i have a few um charts that i keep with me and to be honest i really didn't want to sell anything because all of of the charts i really wanted so <laughs> but yeah i have a, a few left so i will show you as my Hole because it's part now of my stash and many of the of the charts that I sold um, I reorder this week <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> so I make a um, another um, you know I bought more charts and fabric and stuff <laughs> so I will receive this um, hopefully before Christmas so that will be my Christmas gift uh, from me to me yeah <laughs> I, I bring to to the retreat uh, all of my uh, hand dive uh, pieces of fabric and I almost sold every piece so I don't have any more um, fabric stash anymore but that's okay I'm so glad I could um, you know bring uh, with me the fabric and the ladies really enjoy them so that's okay a win-win situation and i can you know get new 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 fabric and new stash so i will show you some of the of the charts that i got with me um this one is from her string sanctuary it's a beautiful it's shooter's heel I really love this one. I didn't. Uh, I can't remember if I already showed this, but I love it. It's so pretty, and I really want to stitch this. So bad. <laughs> um, this one is um, from the Scarlet House samplers, and I remember that uh, Lori from Mich Chibos Stitches. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, stitch this one I guess uh, I can't remember if it was her or I don't know but it's a, a beautiful beautiful piece and also I wanted to stitch this so bad uh, so yeah uh, another piece is uh, Indigo Lane from uh, Brenda Gervais so also a beautiful uh, Piece. I want to start all of this. <laughs> this one I I bought it and I really uh, wish uh, none of the ladies wanted this chart. And yeah, <laughs> I can keep it because uh, well, otherwise I will um, you know get it again. But I love it. Um, Teresa was from Kitten Stitcher was talking about this sampler and I fell in love and I really this is the original piece and I really really want to stitch this I mean I want to start everything but this one is one of my favorites so I will start this I promise um, I received also this uh, from Bella Filipina the this is called Aquamarina <laughs> and it's a beautiful beautiful um, mermaid the picture here is a little dark because the colors are um, 
more light and vibrant in real life but yeah I love her I don't know when I'm going to start her but I certainly will and I have a bunch of uh, mirabilias that I that I left uh, or that I have with me and all of this I really wanted to to stitch this um, I don't know you know I'm a mineral lover so I eventually at least start <laughs> some of this project I really love this it's called Moonlight Laguna this is from Nora but oh, I love her and this one has a um, similar piece a companion piece I guess it's in um, orange colors but I really love this little mermaid and this one this is called a uh, Lenovo sampler and it's wonderful because um, I already knew this this uh, design but with my just found love for samplers <laughs> I guess this is a, a beautiful way of combining both of my loves you know for mirrors and for samplers so again I want to start this and I want to stitch her it's so pretty look at those letters and those um, butterflies I love it so yeah I will also start this and and many many mirrors uh, that I I keep uh, from the from the retreat I, I sold a lot of the charts but uh, I keep a lot of them so this one I, I saw it um, stitched well in a in a picture and these two uh, night nymph and day nymph and you know in the picture you look at them and yeah they're okay <laughs> But the ones you saw them stitched, oh my god, they are gorgeous. Again, someday, someday. So, all of these are, you know, classic uh, mirrors, and I love all of these. And I want to stitch all of these, but I don't know where, when. <laughs> I know here, but I don't know when. Um, this one. I guess this is going to be soon uh, uh, out of print or I don't know if it's already out of print but love it uh, so yeah a lot of mirrors and a lot of of stitching to do this one I guess it's also a, an out of print and they didn't want it who faults is this <laughs> I will stitch it um, Pam from uh, just keep stitching hello Pam and and beautiful Stephanie um, but Pam is uh, stitching this I I can't remember if she finished it but I do remember watching her her pro project and it was beautiful so I also want to stitch this beauty I don't know and the the autumn one is fantastic also oh, all of these projects and so little time I also have some um, from the drown thread uh, some beautiful um, samplers I guess so let me show you because I have the the simply autumn and the simply winter and they are really really pretty look at this and I was thinking that I will have to have uh, spring and summer so yeah you're supposed to, to stitch all of these uh, all of the four uh, samplers so you can achieve all of this uh, complete piece so duh <laughs> I will need now to to get the the two other ones that I'm missing. Why I didn't uh, get them with the 
the stash from this week I don't know <laughs> but yeah that is my um, I usually don't do uh, you know stash or give or something I feel so weird but so happy <laughs> and I hopefully um, have more stash to come to show you and that's it well also um, as I told you I haven't stitched much but I've been um, knitting and you know crochet crochet crocheting a lot so in my last video I, sh I show you my my start in this um, uh, shawl so I finish it and I love it and I already wear this and I love it even more I don't know how you supposed to to wear this but I just you know so cozy and so pretty <laughs> I love it and I start a new one um, this one it's uh, really you know m more colorful I guess uh, but I also also like it I going to keep because you repeat the the, the 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 knitting or the the stitches so I will continue making it bigger and bigger <laughs> because I want like a, a really big and fluffy uh, not just a, a shawl but a cover-up so I love it and it's really really uh, fast to do so you know the instant gratification I'm old for that <laughs> so I will finish this last week um, I only have this um, uh, yarn left but I got another one so the plan is to make it really really big so I can be cozy and cozy cozy <laughs> and warm um, and from my my last uh, crochet projects, I I went to the store again. Uh, Hidden in, in my city, they have a the same store that where I I got this originally. So I took picture of the yarn because some of of uh, the ladies asked me about the yarn that I use. So I put a picture of the yarn that I use for this one. And also I put a picture of the yarn that I use for the first one. So you can see what material or what what yarn I'm using and for this last one I'm using this mandala I'm not very familiar with <laughs> the yarns or you know the type of material I just um, look for a pretty one and I start I I, I check the the number of, of the of the hook that I have to use and just to start but I'm not really you know uh, yarn savvy or anything and it's a, a shame because I want to to get some um, yarn online but I, I don't know how to order you know properly because but that's also a good thing because I have already an, a, a cross stitch addiction so I don't need another more and there won't be enough money for <laughs> all my addi addiction so I prefer to well I prefer to to buy my yarn you know in person but some of the picture that I see in internet of the uh, yarns and the, the uh, hand dyed yarns are beautiful but I don't know if I can use those materials so <laughs> blah blah blah, blah. <laughs> Um, I, I got this one uh, this is the the kind of, of material that I use for this one it's the same material 
with like a metallic uh, thread in the in the yarn so it's really pretty this was really nice to 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 knit to crochet <laughs> and I love this one uh, supposedly it has a little bit of dark green in the mixture oh yeah you can see it here really really pretty but I love this purple and I guess it's like a little like a, the daemon painting uh, you know a uh, wave that we have uh, with Danielle and Mitchell Bendy and uh, McKenna that I, I'm <laughs> having a little crochet <laughs> time but I'm a teacher, a cross teacher in my heart <laughs> so I will be back to my cross teaching projects but it's, it's fun to have all these um, crafts uh, also part of our you know necessi necessity or our need to express or to making something with our hands, I don't know. So yeah, I really want to start a lot of things, a lot of, of my beautiful charts. I want to start, you know, uh, something new and I'm waiting for the Russian kids. So I know I will want to start those and I'm waiting for uh, the charts that I sold and I repurchase and I, certainly <laughs> want to start those two so yeah <laughs> i don't know i feel like uh, a little um, overwhelmed well and happy <laughs> i i stitch a few um a few minutes this week um just uh i took my my uh atom quaker from uh, Rosewood Manor. Uh, this project I am stitching with uh, DMC flosses and some flosses that I dyed and my project back, very, you know, autumn <laughs> and Halloweeny. And I bring this, this project because I was missing this so much and I just, you know, stitch a, a couple of of minutes in it but I love it um, it's so pretty uh, the light is terrible but uh, I am uh, stitching in this uh, large motif and I'm you know choosing chosen the colors uh, along with with the project it has not much to do with the original uh, the original design it's just like a like an idea <laughs> of the original design but I love it and it's so tiny and so colorful and so big <laughs> but yeah I, I probably uh, will uh, continue with this project uh, for the for for a little while and you know knitting a little and playing with my stuff deciding what to start next and that's it um, I hope uh, you <laughs> enjoy this uh, little chat most of all was a, a chat and Sending you all my love, a lot of hugs and a lot of kisses from your stitching Mexican friend. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.